Reward money has now climbed to $100,000 for an arson case stemming from this fire in Golden Valley. Federal agents are now investigating, saying someone may have targeted three conservative political groups in the building. And Jay Coles talked with two of those groups mm -hmm. about the increased reward money. He joins us live from the newsroom now. Jay? Yeah, Brett, the conservative political groups are the Center for the American Experiment, a nonprofit called Take Charge Minnesota, and the Upper Midwest Law Center. All three believe they're targets of the arson. Now, they're hoping that $100,000 reward leads to some answers. This is video inside the hallways of the Golden Valley office building just after the arson happened in late January. The corridor on the whole southern half of the building, it looks like bombs have gone off, looks like a war zone. No one was injured, but for those affected, a bit unnerving. It's, uh, it's kind of saddening. I mean, you hate to see that we're in an environment where this kind of an action actually takes place. All three of the fires were set near the offices of the three conservative political groups inside the building. Well, it's shocking. John Hinderocker says until someone is caught, there's no way to know for sure, but he says it feels like it was aimed at them. I mean, obviously, out of the dozens of businesses in this building, the three conservative organizations were targeted. Take Charge is making a difference by tackling the root cause of problems in our society. Take Charge Minnesota is a nonprofit that focuses on private education, specifically for racial minorities. Former Republican gubernatorial candidate Kendall Qualls is president of the organization. In a statement, Qualls says, quote, we have no new information concerning the arson. We at Take Charge will continue our message. The entire office building on Wyzetta Boulevard along 394 is now locked up and might not reopen for several months. The amount of damage that's been done is, is many, many millions of dollars. And they're all hopeful increasing the reward money could break the case. We haven't seen an arrest. So our thinking is somewhere out there, somebody knows who did this. And if you have information about this case, the FBI does want to hear from you. You can contact investigators at the number on your screen. That's 763-569-8000 or leave a tip online at tips.fbi.gov. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News.